Hi and welcome back to class of product development and entrepreneurship. I am Hintesh Nayani, assistant professor at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. This is lecture 6, product planning. The learning outcomes of these lectures is to learn the product planning process. So let's we start the product planning. Generally, the product planning process is take place before the product development. The, so the product planning process takes place before the product development project is uh, approved, before the resources are applied, and before the large development team is formed. Here I show the product planning process, and product planning process uh, is start uh, with uh, identify the opportunities. And the output of this process is the mission statement. There are uh, steps like uh, evaluate and prioritize the projects, uh, allocate resources and plan timings and complete pre-project planning. So, so these are the steps of product planning process. We have to learn the step by steps. And uh, if you look at the product planning process, uh, if you have to do the cloud product planning, First, you have to identify the opportunities or project. Then, uh, that opportunities and uh, whenever you identify the opportunities, you have to evaluate and prioritize the project. So, at the end of this step, uh, the output is the portfolio of projects. So, there are number of projects uh, based on the evolutions and prioritize. So, and uh, these projects. Uh, uh, how to uh, pursue as per the prioritize. So uh, here at the end of this uh, evolute and uh, prioritize the project steps. The next step is to allocate the resources and uh, resources to the uh, project which is uh, under the portfolios and uh, also given the timing to that project. So this is the next step uh, in product planning. So once the allocations of uh, allocations of resources is given to product uh, uh, projects and the timing of project is decided, then uh, you have a, a product uh, plans. So next is uh, complete pre-project plan. So uh, mission statement is uh, captures uh, and uh, the output of this step is uh, the mission statement. So. This is the general uh, steps in product planning process. Let's we uh, lunch one by one. So first step in product planning process is the identify the opportunities. So the planning process being with the identify the product development opportunity as so you see here in figures. And uh, the ideas for the new uh, products uh, comes from the several resources like marketing and sales persons, uh, research and technology development operations, uh, organizations, uh, current development teams, manufacturing and operations, organizations and current or potential customers. So these are the source uh, and from that the source uh, the ideas for the new product, uh, new product plans. So in uh, opportunity identification uh, step, the opportunity funnel collects uh, ideas continuously and the new product uh, opportunity may arise at any time. So once the opportunities are identified, the next step is the evaluate and prioritize the project. So in this stage, a uh, company has to select the uh, most promising project uh, to pursue. And uh, the four uh, basic perspectives are uh, uh, useful in the evolutions and uh, prioritize the projects are the project or opportunities, are competitive strategies, market segmentations, technology strategies, uh, and uh, product platforms. So let me uh, launch the this all the perspectives one by one. So in uh, evolutions and prioritized project, first uh, perspective is the competitive strategies. 
So an organization competitive strategy uh, defines a basic approach to the market and the product with respect to the competitors. Here, uh, in this strategy, uh, the mainly focus on the basic approach to the market and the product with respect to the competitors. And uh, the choice of uh, which opportunity how to pursue that can be de uh, decided by this uh, uh, stage. So there are uh, in co competitive strategies, there are several strategies are possible like technology leaderships uh, here in this uh, focus on technologies, post leaderships in uh, these uh, strategies uh, mainly focus on the post of products and customer uh, focus and imitatives. So let's uh, we learn first the uh, technology leaderships. So in this strategy, so the frame plays the great uh, uh, emphasis on the basics, uh, basic research and development of new technology. So mainly in these strategies, uh, the frame is uh, frame focus on the development of new technologies and uh, uh, basic research. Next is the post leaderships. So in this uh, strategies, uh, uh, this strategies requires the PEM to complete on production efficiency. So here the focus on uh, production efficiency uh, according to the loader, uh, according to the post leader sales. So uh, for that uh, either through use of superior uh, manufacturing methods, low cost uh, levels or better management of production systems are used. So here, for the production efficiency, the design for manufacturing and assemblies also used uh, or uh, have to use the superior manufacturing methods or the labor cost is also considered as much as uh, less. So uh, ultimately, the in cost like the later shapes uh, of your product is on production efficiency. Next is the customer focus. So in these strategies, the uh, uh, in these strategies, the frame work closely with the uh, uh, existing and new customers to uh, accept their changing requirement and preferences. And uh, next and last uh, competitive strategies is the immediatives. So when physical uh, opportunity have been identified, the frame quickly launch a new product uh, to imitate the successful competitors. So in these strategies, uh, frame, uh, in these strategies, uh, the company uh, make the duplication or copy of successful competitor, and uh, for that, uh, uh, a fast developing process is essential to efficiently implement these strategies. So next perspective is the market segmentation. So in this market segmentation, uh, market is divided into segments and allow the frame to consider the uh, actions of competitors and strength of the frame's existing product with respect to each well-defined group of customers. So it, it is nothing but the divisions of market and focusing on that particular segment. Next perspective perspective is the technological trajectories. In this uh, technological trajectories, uh, mainly uh, decisions of new basic technologies is when we have to adopt that uh, in product, uh, product lines that is uh, decided. And fourth perspective is the product uh, platform planning. So the platform is a set of assets sets across the uh, set of products. As we know, there are lots of uh, set of products uh, and uh, the sharing of that assets for that particular products is uh, nothing but the platform. And the critical strategic decision at this stage is whether the project will uh, develop a derivative product from the existing platforms or the develop uh, entirely new platforms. So let, uh, next is the allocations uh, of resources and plan timings. So once uh, evaluate and prioritize the project, uh, we have a portfolio of projects 
Now uh, we have to uh, allocate the resources and uh, plan timing to that particular project of fraud folders. So that uh, this is the most important stage in product planning as we see that many organizations take on too many projects without the regard of uh, limited available uh, availabilities of uh, development resources. And uh, what happens as a result, uh, skill, um, there are uh, more and more engineers or managers required for that particular project. And ultimately the productivity drops, uh, project takes longer times to complete uh, and uh, product becomes let into markets and profit uh, is also becomes lower. So the aggregate planning helps an organization make efficient use of its resources by pursuing only those projects that can reasonably complete with the budgeted resources. And uh, for the sequencing of projects, uh, the following factors are considered like uh, competitions, technology readiness, uh, timing of project in introductions and market readiness. So next is the complete pre-project planning. The objectives defined by uh, product vision statements may be very general. It may not say which specific technologies should be used. It not specify the goods, uh, uh, goals and the constraint of the functions uh, and uh, these decisions are captured in the mission statement under the complete pre-project plans. So at the end of this step, the output of this step is the mission statements. So in uh, mission statements, the uh, information uh, which includes are the you know, key business goals, the benefits and the brief descriptions of product, the target markets or for the products and assumptions and constraints. So this is the last step of product planning and the output of this step is the mission statement. So in these lectures we learn the product planning process and in our next lectures we will learn the identifying the customer needs. Thank you.